Hello, how are y'all today? Tonight, this afternoon, I don't know what it is where you're at, but welcome, welcome. I'm Stacy with uh, Stacy's Crafty Jam, and uh, still working on my Buzz Into Spring uh, journal. Yeah, this is a series that that I've been doing, and I'm having a really good time. Oh my lord, these papers are gorgeous. Uh, designed by Line Dot Arrow and Nonstop Paper Crafts. Uh, uh, you know, I've told y'all before, the links are uh, in the description. Yeah, uh, gorgeous papers, 25% off. So really good, really good opportunity for you to get those. Uh, yeah, we, we've been doing, a, you know, quite a bit moving right along on this on this journal. Y'all met my little precious uh, granddaughter on, in the last video. And uh, yeah, she helped me out a lot. I, um, um, I told y'all in the last one that we would work on this sack that, um, that I got from my sister. She, I think she used these at a birthday party or something. I think they put treats in them, but it's got this window and that's so awesome sauce. I love it. And what I was wanting to do, I inked all around it and I cut off, it had a little, little thing at the top here where you fold it down and, and, uh, you know, seal it up type thing. And I cut that off. And what I was wanting to do is put a little something in the window. Yeah. And I like this, this, uh, this butterfly a lot. Uh, I think it's like a monarch or something, but uh, I like this butterfly a whole lot. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to slide this little puppy down in there. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh, I'm not the best at this, but here's what I want to do. Uh, see how this sack is? Uh, we're going to alter the sack today, obviously. And um, I want to put the paper in this part of the sack and leave that part for, or, you know, I guess if I open it up, but I want the, I want this to not get in the way. And, uh, you know, in the sack part, you could see right here that that little fold part there is right here. So if I put it in the back, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it, it doesn't work. Let me see if I can show you. And, um, um, oh goodness gracious. It's getting caught on something there. Um, if I put it in the back, then see how that image gets, gets taken up there. So I got to put it towards the front and yeah, let's just see how this goes. I'm going to put a, a, a line of glue on this side. It's my plan anyway. It, hope this goes well. And um, yeah, we'll just we'll just see. And then I'm gonna put a little line of glue here. And then we're gonna try hard, hard to not get this on that window. Oh, Lord have mercy. So let me open this up quite a bit. Let me open it all the way up. See if I can get this done. And yeah. Okay. That, that, that might work. And then let me put this in real careful not to touch the window. And then I can position it right where I want it. See, I got quiet. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Oh, I think I might've done it. Okay. Let me close the sack back up and then we'll, we'll press it down. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. I think I did it. I did it. Okay. Then we're going to glue in that, that little part there. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get ahead of myself there. So we're going to glue that in. And yeah, hope you are doing well. I am doing fantabulous. Been playing in inks. Look at my fingers. <laughs> yeah. I've been testing out different inks. Because we're going to do something else in a minute. Okay, then the only thing we're going to do here, I'm going to I'm gonna glue this down because I don't need this part. I got a few of these. I think Dana gave me about four or five of these. So I might I might try some other fun things with, with these things. You know? And But I don't need that. So I'm, I'm gluing that down. And then we're going to collage around the window. And then we'll add some some fun elements. I don't 
I don't want to add a thumb notch like I like I usually do. I don't think. No, I don't. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I'll, I'll have the tag sticking out. It's it's obvious what it is. Okay, let me get my scrap papers here, and we're just gonna start. We're just gonna start figuring it out together. Seeing seeing what we can figure out here. Um. Yeah, when my granddaughter precious in the last video. Oh my goodness. She just she just makes my heart go putter putter. Okay. Um but I took her home. So <laughs> I took her home. So I could do the so I could finish. I got a lot to do. Short time to get there. All right, let me see about this. What if I what if I did this little number there? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of trimming. And yeah. I was just gonna tear like that, but I think it's gonna be harder to do if I did it that way. Yeah. I think. I think I think. Oh, I don't know. It's probably all hard for me. <laughs> it's it's probably a struggle either way I go. Okay, let me see. Let me see. And then my mark was here. But it's collaging, so, you know, it's okay. It's okay if things aren't just perfecto, I think. Okay, that'll work. Get rid of that pencil mark. And I'm going to ink on that side in a minute. But let me start let me start getting these pieces nailed down. And then what if I did this other side here like so? I Man, I kind of like that little jar there. So think I think I'll pick it up and I'll go there. I think I'll pick it up and I'll go there. Yeah, it's just a matter of piecing this thing together, you know? Because it'd be, it's going to be extremely difficult to go around, you know, to get one piece to go around that window. Huh. I think I'd rather um, run around the building 30 times. Yeah, yeah. And that that's saying a lot, guys. All right. I think I'm going to do that. And let me see if I can trim this. Yeah, I'm over here at my trimmer. Can't really see me. Can't see me very good. Okay. Let me see if I did it. Did I do it? Again. By golly. By golly, by golly. I got it. Okay, so that's, I got, I got that going. And then, I kind of like this thing here, but it's, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make that straight there at the top. So, we'll, oh my gosh, I cannot cut straight to save my life. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. And then we'll lay this here. And I'm not quite sure. See, that, win that window's rounded. But maybe I don't care so much. Maybe I don't care if the window's rounded. Maybe. I mean, I don't want to make it a square. Let me... What am I going to do there? Okay. Maybe. Okay. Let me just see if I can do this. Wow. Stacy. Can you do it? I doubt it. But I sure can give it a good old college try. Okay. I got a little round there.
Okay, it looks better going on this side here. So, well, that's not too bad. Okay, I did a little little arc there. Hee <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's just see. What else? What other kind of trouble can I get into over here? All right. I'm going to... Of course, I'll ink up this white stuff. Let me see about this. It's not too bad. I'll, I'll trim off that, that bottom part. And I got that. And I think I'll do a strip of like some music or something up there. And let's do a little something to take up this spot. Um, that's a little too bright there. Oh, that would looky there. Look, look, looky there. Okay, now this is going to have to arc that way, so this is not the easiest thing I've ever done here, okay, but it's not the most difficult, it's not the easiest, all right, and then I need to, where's my little ruler, around here somewhere, okay, and then I'll okay, and I'll put that there. I know this is looking like a big old fat mess right now, but I think I, I think I have a plan. I think I think. Okay, let's let's ink. Some of these pieces, I think that's, oops, that's going to be necessary for sure. We'll see how this plan works out. I think it might be okay. Yeah, I'm really digging this hack a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I'll figure out. The, um, this part needs to be inked. And then I've got a center spread that I want real bad to get to today. I have been, I watched an Angela Kerr video, and she did this center spread, um, I guess it was a month or two ago, and it, it's really extra cool. And I, I want to do that today. So, yeah, that's the other thing we'll get done today. I think. I hope. We're going to try. <laughs> Hear me with all my confidence? Yep, yep. Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't care for that on there. I don't know. I'm not digging that either. Okay. Maybe. Well, maybe it's not too bad. We'll just we'll just do that. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we need to break this up. Maybe we break it up with a book page of sort. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so what I need to do here, but I like this part the bestest. So what I need to do here is I need to arc this going up. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay, that might work. All right, let's just start laying, laying down. All right, there's, there's my plan. 
Ah, oh, this is I'm sure there's a better way to do this. This feels like a convoluted way to get her done. But this is kind of my approach to collaging, except usually a lay down, but I I've never had to work around a window that's arced like that right in the middle. Uh, but I really, really like this tack. And I really, really want to use it. So, you know, the, the most difficult things sometimes turn out to be the best. You know what you think? Maybe? Oh, and I'm loving these papers so much. Oh, they're just, oh, I love it. You know, and I'm not even a yellow person, right? I'm not at all. I think I've told you all that in another video. My daughter painted her house yellow. And I was like, why did you do that? Oh. But it's what she wanted, you know. And um, it's not my house. And um but I think I think I'm I think I'm I think it's growing on me. <laughs> I think I think it is. Okay. All right, and then this is going down. And then I, with the pops of like, there's little pieces of red and, um, and of course the black and the brown and the greens. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely thing. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll fix that top up there in a minute. About. I am appreciating y'all's comments so much, and uh, I've, uh, you know, and, and your support. Thank y'all so much. I um, I'm so so grateful. Thank y'all. If you are uh, new and you've not, you, you this is your first time coming on to Stacy's Crafty Jam. I just want to say a big big welcome, welcome welcome. What a blessing it is to 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 have you to have you join us over here. We. Um, I try to have a good time. I uh, I can't say that I I come with I just I just come with my take on things, you know, and try to have a good time doing it. I um if it's not fun, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just no. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be something I'm I'm gonna be down for, yeah. Okay. And I put glue on the bottom of that right there. I'm going to let that kind of dry. Well, it's not going to hurt nothing to fold it over. Sure won't. Well, yes, it will. It's going to mess up my whole inking thing around there. <laughs> oh, Lord, Stacey. You, that's why you needed to cut it. Let me see if I can figure that out. Lift it up. And oh, I did a horrible job of that. Okay, let me see what I can do about figuring that out. Let me look at it. It'll be all right. I'm going to ink it. And oh, you know what? We're going to add some trim at the bottom of it. Job done. Okay. Where did that thing go? Okay, here it is. All right. Now, where do I need to do which ish? Okay, I need to cut a little off. I need to tear a little off here. And I need to... It's getting stuck on that glue down there. All right, I need to... I need to tear it about right there, and I need to cut about right there. Okay. Let me see if I can cut it straight. What are the chances of that? All right. And then we're going to tear. Okay. And then I want to ink, ink, ink. Uh, 
Where'd my dauber go? And this is really brittle. This is like a bridge book or something. Poker book. I don't even know. But it's really extra cool. Part of our stuff in our shop. I just ran across this book. I was like, oh, I'm pulling some pages out of this and using it. But you gotta you gotta ink it with something on the back of it or you you end up tearing the paper real bad. All right, now where am I putting this? Right here, like a so. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty near cool. I like that pretty good. And then we're going to embellish this, so, you know, we're good. We're good, we're good. All right, let me get this out of the way, and I want to do something at the top here. Maybe, ooh, maybe we put some trim at the top. Check this out. Maybe... Maybe we do a little something like that. I like that, maybe. And this is just a little, yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Um, oh, let me see this. Well, that that covers it up pretty good, and I like that. Okay, let's do that. Does it cover it up, though? Let me look. Let me look again. Yeah, it does. So there. Job job is easier that way. Huh. That just hit me like a, like a bolt of lightning. And then we could, we could put this trim or the other trim at the bottom. I don't know. Do I want matchy matchy? This one on the bottom too? I don't know. That doesn't sound like something Stacy does. <laughs> Stacy's not a matchy matchy girl. Not generally. Let me get a little fray going on there. Just a little bit of fray. Okay. A little bit of fray. Oh, goodness, yeah. Well, that's not too bad. I like that. I don't get that. Yeah. What do y'all think? Not too bad. Do I want the matchy-matchy? I don't think I do. <laughs> nope. Let's not do that. That's crazy talk. But... I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that at the bottom. Yeah, I did. I was trying to think of a way I could sew on this sack, but yeah, it's not really. I guess here at the very, very bottom, I could. I might. I might could do that. Let me move this down. I'm still got the whole sinus thing going on. All right. Let me. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Now, I have this Tim Holtz doggy. <laughs> and it's cute as a bug in a rug. And uh, I was thinking about putting him, like, right there. Because he looks like he's looking up at the butterfly. He <laughs> Like he's chasing it. I think I like that. And I want to I wanna maybe put that on there. And I was thinking about some of my, some of these little cutoffs of my doilies. And maybe a little something like that. And then, um, 
I have this other Tim Holtz ephemera that I like kind of good. Or maybe this pop of red on there. Oh, yeah, I like that pretty good. Turn this around. No. Okay. It's all in the placement, you know. I just liked the way that dog was looking up at the butterfly like it's chasing it. I really, really do. And I think I like that right there, too. And I know I like that. Here's a little... Whims I don't even know what this is. It's like a doily thing or something. And it's pretty cool. What if I did that? There. I don't know if I'm if I'm digging that so much. When I shoot it not like I am right now, the, the lighting is er, not so great. What about this one? No, I don't know about those story things. But I could use this brown lace. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, let's let's ink this. I think this I think this will do it. Honestly. And then we can get onto that center spread. Okay. I'm trying to stay right in the middle of that flower in this in this slice here. Let me see what this looks like. I like that pretty good. I like that quite a bit. Okay. All right. All right. Um, let me, I'm going to ink my little doggy. I don't know. He just says he's chasing that butterfly to me. <laughs> when I saw this in the ephemera, I was like, I don't know when I'll use that. I, every time I say that about something, <laughs> oh boy, look out. That's when it's happening. Capping. Oh, oh goodness gracious. I got ink. I mean, I got glue on my thing. Oh my gosh. How am I going to get that off? Okay. Let me go get a wet wipe. I'm going to pause this real quick. Lord have mercy. Shoot, doggies. I did it. Oh, what a miracle look. I got that glow off. Oh, thank you, Lord. Man, that made my heart just sink. I didn't want to have to go through this process again on another sack. Then I pick out all the papers. Lord, I have to go through that again. Uh, no. Didn't want to sign up for that. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mercy, mercy me. Okay. I think, I think I like her. I think I like her a lot. Let me get my wet wipe. Yep, she looks pretty good. I like her. And then we'll put this down as a pocket in um in in the um on a journal page. And then the ephemera 
the a, a tag will go down inside here and we'll glue we'll glue this down i could do this is a pocket and glue the three sides and do do a double pocket with it or a pocket here ooh i could do yeah uh, well, possibilities P options options okay now where is my spread okay here is i'm hoping that i can do this because uh first of all angela was doing a a4 you know paper and you know of course you know i don't i don't have that size and my journal isn't necessarily a um you know a, a regular size paper anyway it's I already know the complete dimensions on it. And um, so I'm going to wing it. <laughs> oh boy, here I go. So here is my center spread. And I chose this on purpose because it's got the, 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 you know, the sunflowers on either side. I sewed on, on it. I actually haven't sewn on the rest of my pages yet, but I did sew on this one because I knew I wanted to do this. At first I was like, okay, I want to do this music page and I want to stencil on it. And, um, that was, that was my, my, my thing. And I may still do that, but then I found this Edith Holden. Cause yeah, I, I, for those of you in the, in the Facebook group, y'all know, I just, got an Edith Holden book and look at this page with the B on it. Oh my goodness. I think it's begging to be used. And, but I'm, I just don't know if that's going to look as good. If that pops as good as that on the page, but guys, I, I really think I want I think it looks better that way. Let me fold her in half. Let's just see. And this is way smaller than what, what, um, oh, and see, it didn't, it didn't fold the B completely in half either. So, okay, here, here is, here's where it goes. I, I think I'm going to try this. Let's try this one. If I use the music paper, I want a stencil on it. That's why you saw that that stencil and um, stamps and stuff. And how come for me to have ink? All right. She came three inches over and made a mark. But, I, you know, obviously that's not going to work for me. So if I came two inches over... That's not very good. So if I came to, <laughs> if I came two and a half, that would give me enough room. Okay. So let's get the pencil and let's do two and a half from the fold. Okay. And I'm doing two and a half from the fold. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to fold it at that two and a half like this and I'm going to do it on this side too I gotta make sure I get that get my sides Okay, so there's that. And then we want to fold it back and leave a little bit. Well, no, we don't have to. We're going to fold this back like this. We're going to be good. I'm, I'm going to do it this way. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own little 
rendition of Angela's thing. But I gotta get this right if I'm gonna do it. More to Stacy. Okay. I think my head's in the camera. Okay. I'm gonna add trim there so it's gonna be alright. And what's gonna happen here is this is gonna be a little tuck spot right here. There'll be a little tuck spot here, and there's going to be a little tuck spot on the other side. Okay. So there's a little tuck spots on either side. And this will be glued. This is getting glued down. So let's do that. Let me get my bone folder. And we'll, we'll go ahead and cement our, our things. Okay. And we're going to glue this down. The folded part. So we, we still got that, right? So, boy, I do not want to mess up the season holding page. I hope I get this right. I think this is going to work. I think, I think. So, there's that. Then, we're going to glue here to form the tuck spot. And I'm, I'm doing, you know, a pretty good amount of glue there. I'm doing probably a quarter inch or more of glue. Because I don't, this is, that Eth holding paper is pretty sturdy paper, you know. No, I'm doing about a half inch. <laughs> half inch of glue. Because whatever I put in the pocket in that tuck spot isn't going to be the full length of the page. All right. Let me get my, let me get my pens, or my, my, my things. And we're gonna we're gonna let that let that set, and we're gonna do this side. It's really easy what she did. When I saw it, I was just like blown away. I was like, "Oh, I love this!" But at that time, I never I never thought about using the Edith Holden until I was going through the book and I saw this one with the B. I was like, "Holy cow, Batman!" This is just begging to be used in this journal. Okay. All right. So there's that. And there'll be a tuck spot here. Let me, let me get something. There'll be a tuck spot here. And there'll be a tuck spot here. Let me... That glue's seeping out. Yep, it's doing the same here because I put too much glue. Ooh. Then we're gonna do some some decorating on it. Now she put some stuff here, but because this Edith Holden paper is so amazing. I don't think I want to do that. I think I, I think I want to let this paper speak for itself. But what I do want to do is something here. So, what I was thinking is I have, let me see what this looks like. 
I have this gingham, this green and white gingham. And it's got some gold on one side, and then it doesn't on the... Well, no, it has the gold on both sides. All right. But I was thinking... That might not look so bad. And then I take... Let me, let me put my glue topper back on. And then I take my ephemeras that I have picked out. She had these stamps in the, and some flowers and stuff in the, in the kit. And if I put, let me just put this there. Hold it. Okay. See if I like it. See if I like it. And I did, I don't, I don't know if it hangs over. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know about that one. I'm not sure. But what I really liked was the beat, was the lady books and stuff. Oh yeah. You know what guys? That's cute. It has a bug in a rug. <laughs> Isn't it? I think it is. And I, I do these little stampy things that she's got in the in the kit here. Put that there. Maybe I put this one here, maybe. And then let me look at these flowers that were in those freebies. Maybe a cut. Oh, that looks really good. Maybe I should cut out another one of those and put it on the other side. <laughs> I think I should. I don't know. I like that. Maybe I should cut out some of these leaves. Let me cut some of these leaves off. You don't have to use ephemera the way it comes. You can do what you want. You can do what you want. Don't you think? I think. I think I'm going to cut this one out. Out the middle. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to do that. And I think I like that, that gingham. But my other choice was this yellow ribbon, but I don't, I don't, no, that yellow ribbon's not going to work. And then I've got this white one, and that's not going to work. And I've got this brown one. Brown one could work. I really like that gingham. So I think I'm going with it. I'm going with the gingham. Okay. So let's ink up. Should I cut out another one of those? Um, and do it, have it matchy matchy. Does Stacy ever matchy match? No. Well, then why should I start now? I don't know. Maybe I should, though. Okay. I'm going for it. All right. I used my pinking shears, Dana K. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Dana K is my sister. And we have this thing between us about pinking shears. You all have to. It's a long story. I'm not going to go into it. But I used my pinking shears. Robin Trader, if you're watching, on these stamps. I think that's a cool idea. I'm probably not the first one to think of that. I have no doubt I'm not. So, anyway, it's a pretty good thing to do. I like to use that Tim Holtz Deckle Edge Trimmer 2. I had a sweet friend give that to me couple of Christmases ago. I use that thing a lot. All right. 
All right. So let's put down Z ribbon. Okay. We're going to put smack dab in the middle. I need to make this straight. Okay. All righty, here we go. My grandson's here, but I think he went to sleep on the couch. <laughs> I'm boring him to tears, guys. When we watched a movie last night, I think he's tuckered out. Okay, there we go. And we're going to do it again. I say I'm not matchy-matchy, but I'm putting the ribbon on each side, aren't I? Okay. All right. I think it's gonna be pretty cool, actually. I'm I'm not big on center spreads, to be honest. I usually leave my centers. My, I usually pick up real pretty page out of the out of the kit or whatever I'm using, you know. And I just, I just let the paper sing, you know. But when I saw this video from Angela, I was like, oh, well, look at that. Well, would y'all look at that? I think I like it. Okay, so we'll put, we'll put you there, and I'm not, I'm not caring that it's that it's hanging off on either side. And I'm good with that, and I'm good with that I think no no I'm trying to think but nothing's happening <laughs> okay let me see here All right, let me put this behind this lace here. And I shall cut around it. This is my, I love this lace. It's from our shop. And it's, I just, I adore this lace so much. It, it's, it's a real go-to for me. All right. All right, let me cut a whole bunch around it there. Then I can get it the way I want it. Sorry for sniffling all that through this video. I need to. I'm, I need. I need to take my flow nice. But, oh my lord, the taste in your mouth! You know, who's taken flow nice before? Stuff is. Ugh. I mean, it works though. Oh, now see, that's just what that needed. All right, I'm putting this down just like a wrist, and we're gonna. I'm going to put that there. We're going to put... I'm doing good on time, too. And I'm going to put this here. I like that lace there. 
And then this little sweet puppy's going down at the bottom. And we'll fill this up at some point. I don't we don't have time on this video. All right. Then this was going here, but I don't know if I want. What stamps was I using? Ah, I lost it on. Oh, there they are. All right. This is going at the top like that. Oh, I think I want to put this down here. I don't want it at the... Yeah. Yeah. Because the... I don't do the ladybugs like that. And then... I think I like the butterfly better than that, than that other one. And I think what I'm going to do is get... And I'll trim this down a little bit. All right. We'll just trim it a little. A little bit. Okay. And then this will go like that. And then we'll figure out that sunflower in the center there. Maybe I put some lace behind that too. I think maybe I should. So let's do that real quick. Oh. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Thank you for inspiring me, Angela Kerr. I don't know that she'll see this video, but you know, hey, one can dream. <laughs> one can dream. A girl needs dreams in her life. Okay. Everything's sticking to me. Because it's fiber tech time. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this. I got stuff sticking all over me. Lord have mercy. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I went ahead and used this Edith Holden. Oh, I'm so excited. That I bought that Edith Holden. I got it off Thrift Books, but it said only one available. <laughs> but then I went back to Thrift Books, and I'm like, oh, I think they were. I think that their pantalones were flaming. I think they got. They just tell everybody there's just one, so that you'll hurry and buy it. <laughs> the fear of missing out. It's a thing. Okay. Well, I like this pretty good. I do. And then let me show you what we'll do then we put this get all this out of the way and then we put this is that the way yeah and then we put this in the journal on the journal page like so and there'll be stuff in the in here and over here that there'll be tags and then this will be a pocket too so why don't let me let me ink this. Oh, I didn't ink the the thingy. Oh, oh I should have inked it. Let me see if I can get her done. Lord have mercy, Stacy. I was so excited. 
Okay. 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 Let's see what we can do here. Let me... Let me put something underneath it. Let's try to ink. Okay. Well, by golly, I got her done. It's more than one way to skin a rabbit. Okay. This is not what I would suggest to do. <laughs> but if you do make a mistake and you don't ink, you know, hey, there's ways around it. Okay. Huh. That was stressful. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to find our fold here. Find our center. And we're going to Put the glue here. And we're going to put the glue here. Because what we're doing is we're creating a pocket. I don't, Angela didn't think it needed glue in the very center. So she's a smart cookie. So I'm going to close it. All right, and then we're going to flip it, and we're going to do the same. Isn't this cool? This is what I meant when I told you. I loved this when I saw it on her video. Okay. Okay, now, we're going to open her up, and there we go, and where's my tags? Here they are. Let me just pull out a few. Okay, this one hadn't been trimmed good, but what if I put that there, because it, it's not going to end her with the, with the thing. What if I put a jar in here? That's not going to hinder the, the fold. And then what if I put a bigger tag on the other sides or the cards? Got like these postcards, you know. I could put that in there like that. Yeah. I could put this one over here like that. With They'll have some pull tabs on them. Yeah. And this is going to be sewn in my signature. So, yeah, that's... Oh, well, there's some ephemera hiding. Uh, that's that's how that goes. Isn't it awesome? I, I really enjoyed making this. And I'm really glad I used my Edith Holden page. Oh, yay. So, we'll figure out later what goes in there, you know. But I think she's just about as cute as she can be. Oh, yeah, I do. And then, yeah, this was good. So we did good today. We made a center spread here, and we made our pocket for a page. We've done good. This is going to be, this is awesome. This is moving right along. Good job. Good job. Thank you all for joining me. I hope that this inspired you. Uh, I'm going to link Angela's video for uh for this center spread so that you're going to get the measurements and and you don't just get somebody that's a goober that wings it and uh she showed uh, you know that i was going to stencil too on that book page but chose to do the edith holden you know but uh she stenciled on on her on her pretty lace paper so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna link her her video down below and uh, y'all check y'all check out our professional 
doing uh, this this beautiful thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if you are new to Stacy's Crafty Jam, I can't I can't be more grateful. Thank you for for tuning in today. And uh, again, yeah, I hope you were inspired. And and uh, if you hit subscribe, that would be amazing. We're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway video. I don't know. It's pretty late now. I'll do that giveaway bit video in the morning. And uh, y'all will love what we're going to give give away when we hit 2,000. Yay. Yay. Y'all see me cleaning up as I talk? Oh, my goodness. I had a good time. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. I will see you. We're going to finish this process. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Yeah, we're moving along and we're doing good, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.